Hello there everybody, guys and gals, it's Shiny Sparky 1-4 and welcome back to more Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. So last time we tried to give, you know, this guy some freaking gifts, but of course he doesn't accept them because, well, I actually don't know why he doesn't accept them, and if you do know, well, go ahead and say it, because it's weird. I know that he accepts flowers, yet he's only accepted like one or two in the whole freaking, all the days that I'm, that I'm trying to give him some gifts, so I don't know what the hell's going on with that, but anyways. Okay, over here there's, um... Cassie or Patrick? I think it's Cassie. I think Cassie's the blue. I always forget. Take this. Take this. Uh, no, I want to give you this. Oh my god, can you take this? Yes. You know, I shouldn't be skipping dialogue just because I'm so eager to give him the present. I should be actually be, you know, reading that or something. Because for all we know, he could actually be saying something new. And yeah, I would never know. I really wouldn't. Okay, now I'm hoping... Okay, okay, there we go. This is what I wanted to happen. Hopefully it's the summer festival. You really came at a wonderful time. We're about to start the summer festival. Yep, that's right. Everyone's on their way here. Shiny, are you going to take part in it too? Hell yeah. No, don't say question mark. Say hell yeah. That's what you have to do. And he does a blue note. Okay, whatever. Yeah, the summer festival... Okay, okay, I'll talk more about that later. There's a scene, so I'll just shut up. Looks like everyone is here. Here we go. Oh, here we go, I should say. Yeah, that. So, what is this? And, of course, yep. Oh, my... Oh, there's not even that many people here. Well, there's Muffy back there, you know. She's, uh... She's probably checking my ass out. That's why she's all the way back there. She does not care... She does not care at all about what Gustav is doing. What the hell is Daryl doing behind a tree? Like, seriously. This is one crazy, boring, in a weird way festival. Like, seriously. I mean, I don't mean to insult you, Gustafa. I mean, I'm sure you're a great musician and all, but like, seriously, what the hell is this? This is purely pathetic compared to festivals of other damn Harvest Moon games, but I should shut up right now. Just so you can see the glory in this. Well, I mean, I talked about the whole thing. I'm freaking dumb. Thanks for today. See you next year. Okay, yeah. I mean, I don't know if that increases, like, friendliness towards people or anything, but this is a good time to actually talk about festivals in this game. Harvest Moon games are very famous for, you know, having a very good amount of festivals, having a very good time in the festivals, a good get-together, things like that. But Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life is a huge exception to that. If there's one thing that this game lacks at, it's festivals. I believe there's only four festivals in the entire year, and they're all pretty bad, in my opinion, and, I'm, and, and in many people's opinions as well. Like, seriously, you're just there, and you don't, even, you don't have any control over it. It's just one scene, and it's usually not even that long. It's, I don't know, I mean, to me, it seems that the developers, they really did not make a... They purposely... Purposely did not make a good emphasis on the festivals in this game. I'm not sure why. Because we all know that, you know, people just love... People love festivals in Harvest Moon games. That's why, I mean... If you compare this to, well, once again, Harvest Moon 64... That game, the festivals, oh my god, they are so fun. You get to walk around, talk to people there. You get to buy shit. You get to freaking spend money on who's going to win horse, horse races and dog races. And just eat all the time and judge cows and... Freaking put things in the beach and, you know, fireflies at night and swim in water for a swimming festival. And still, I'm, I'm not even, like, halfway done through the festivals in there. Oh, my God. It's... Where the hell am I going? Oh, you. That's right. It's just ridiculous. Like, I don't know why they did that in this game. And I think I'm ranting too much. But it's true. They should have done better festivals in this game. There's only the summer festival. There is, um... There's a harvest festival somewhere in fall, I forgot, but I'll have to look at that and walk through or something, just to know at what time. I know where it's at, but I forgot what day exactly. There's a New Year's Eve or something, um, which of course is the first of spring. And there's a... what else is there? Um, I don't know, but uh, there's one more. I forgot, I forgot what it was. It's probably the most important one, I forgot, like seriously. That's going to be funny if it is. But yeah, that's, see, I just, I don't know, there's only four in the entire year, and that's just completely ridiculous. But whatever, I'm just gonna milk you. I do not feel like watering my damn crops today, I don't know why, or tonight, I should say. I water them in the morning, but not right now. 
What I'm gonna do after this is just fall asleep because this is freaking boring. Oh, so yeah, no. Now, something that I do have to hurry up on. Okay, I don't know if I talked about this too much, but in this year, or not in this year, oh my god, in this game, <laughs> in this game, you're forced to be married at the end of the year. Now, yes, there's a blue feather item, you know, the one we got from those three, uh, what are they called, whatever they are. But, uh, that blue feather is actually just, it's, it's, it's optional, it's not mandatory to use it. Which is very weird. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and exit the house first because I just want to see something. Okay, nothing happened. The thing is, I know a lot about cutscenes and I know what you have to do to actually trigger them. So, if you see me do dumb stuff like that, just, just, just assume I'm trying to get a cutscene to happen because, yes... There are quite a lot of cutscenes in this game, although they are really short and a bit boring. Well, not boring. I don't know if that's a word. It's just... Again, they don't have too much emphasis on them. It's just weird. I, I don't... I don't know. And if any of you guys are interested, you know, in actually watching these Harvest Moon Let's Plays from me, since I'm talking so much about Harvest Moon 64, you might have the question, well, does that mean that you're going to be uh, LPing Harvest Moon 64 in the future? The answer is yes, but only... If I can actually, <laughs> because see, I used to have an N64 and I used to have a, um, what do you call it, a, oh my god, a, a cartridge, oh my god, a cartridge for, and I just went right through my, yeah. I used to have an N64 and I used to have the cartridge of Harvest Moon 64 on it, but the thing is, I'm not a fan of the N64, simply because it's a cartridge and they can overheat and once the system overheats, you can't play the game for several hours, I, well, I don't know about hours, but you know amount of time when they convert it to discs, which is the start of the GameCube and, you know, the PlayStation, the Xbox, it's a lot better. Yeah, you know, the, the disc can get, you know, damaged and stuff, but at the same time, I, I like, if you treat your disc well, it's not going to be a problem, you know? You're good. Now, did this thing already grow? Like, seriously? I'm not even sure if it did. I don't think it did. But yeah, see? I don't have the game anymore because I'm not, I mean, I loved the M64, I loved it as a kid. But the thing is, if you're still playing an N64 in 2013, I mean, there's the reason is because, well, you just want to play nostalgic games that never made it to the virtual console. Yes, there are emulators, but I have a big problem with emulators. Because, well, I mean, first off, you shouldn't even be talking about emulators, really, you shouldn't. And the second thing is that emulators are freaking garbage compared to if you're actually playing on the console. Like, a lot of them have so many issues from, you know, some of them lagging a bit. Oh, she's she's dirty right now. Huh, I'll just wash you later. Some of them lag a lot. Some of them have these huge uh, pixel problems in some parts. You know, they create weird things and distortions. It's so weird. It's so weird. Plus, it's a pain to freaking record it, especially if you're using a Mac. I'm using a Mac. And if you do a screen recording, Using QuickTime because, you know, QuickTime is the number one screen recording for Mac. Like, you know, it's really famous. I don't know about number one, but, you know, it's a... Mac users love you. Love to use that, you know? QuickTime. But, yeah, if you're using QuickTime, the big problem with QuickTime is that it doesn't record audio. I mean, it records audio, but only from an external microphone. It does not record the actual... Okay, it records the input. That's what I should say. It records... The input, meaning it can use a built-in microphone, which is an input, or you can use an external microphone, which is an input. But it does not record the output of the computer, meaning if you are playing an emulator, you're hearing sound from the game, or even anything. You're watching a video on YouTube, let's say, you're hearing sound from the video. That's an output. That's an output from the computer. And, it's, and it cannot record that. It just can't. So, it's a big problem, and I know there's a program called Soundflower, I think, which a lot of Mac users love to use, which converts the input to output, I think? Or, no, no, wait, well, no, which converts the output to input, something like that. And, yeah, I don't know. But even with all that, it's a freaking pain in the butt to actually record all that crap, like, seriously. And why the hell are you not still friends with me? Do you realize how many times I've given you milk and flowers and stuff like that? Yet Flora over here is like so nice, you know. I gave her a couple milks and she's already friends with me, so I shouldn't be I shouldn't be giving more milks. Okay, I'm gonna go back into my shipping bin, just because. Well, there's something I want to do. I mean, I have way too many damn milks. Like seriously, I need to make some money. I'm giving too many gifts. I'm not making the progress in terms of making money. I mean, I know I am making money because I mean, not money, progress. 
because I am making friends with a lot of people, but seriously, I have 42 freaking milks. I'm gonna sell a whopping 20 of them. And I think there's money, yeah, this money's like freaking five days old or something. Oh my god. Anyway, let's go back this way. And, uh, let's see what we're gonna do this time around. I mean, obviously make friends, but... Okay, you're not... No, you're not friends with me. I gotta give you another milk. What the hell? There you go. There you go. I'm um, sure. Take this. Why not, right? Why not? Um, I'm gonna go... Okay, I gotta give another flower to Celia. Okay, because see, I'm gonna... I don't know if I talked about it too much, but I'm going to... Um, like I said, I'm gonna be forced to be married with someone. Now, I do want to trigger at least you know, one blue feather scene, but of course I can only do it once throughout the playthrough because there's only one blue feather and this game does not support polygamy. So, <laughs> yeah, so what the hell am I looking for? Oh, that's right, a milk. So yeah, um, because you get married at the end, which, you know, there's about, uh, well, there's the rest of summer and there's fall and winter, I have to do all of the heart scenes before that because once you marry someone, the heart scenes are from other girls or clothes because, well, you know, they're, they don't want to steal you away from your current wife. So, yeah. Um, so I do have to do all the heart scenes, like I said before. So I need to hurry up on actually building up their hearts. I, I have already triggered some, you know, for example, for Celia. I mean, there's not too many heart scenes. There's, I think, four or five for each girl. So for total, that'll be uh, 12 to 20. Okay, here's another heart scene. This is the third one for Celia already. Hi, Shiny. How are you? I'm, um, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm glad I ran into you. I'm going to my favorite spot today. Want to come along? Sure. Oh, 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 no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, shit. Oh, hell no. Oh, no, I didn't. I, did, I pressed the A by accident. Are you kidding me? I just threw away a freaking heart scene. And why did the game say no from default? You gotta be fucked. Ugh. And I didn't save right before. That means I'll have to do the whole damn thing over again. But I can't do that. I just screwed myself from a freaking heart scene. Sorry. I am so sorry about that, guys. I promise you guys that that was not going to... That is not going to happen again. Oh, my God. And it's a pretty good one, too. It's cute and adorable in a way. Oh, my God. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. Talk about a major fail. That was heart scene number three. Uh, what am I going to do to, to show that? Because I can't redo the whole thing. I've already done over a day and I didn't save the freaking day before. Oh, hell no. Um. Shit. Am I going to have to do like some freaking bonus episodes? Oh, this is what... These are other alternative scenes. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, man. That sucks. That sucks big time. Freaking screwed this shit up. Okay, and uh, and I still don't know who I'm going to marry, by the way. And again, if you guys have some suggestions, well, go ahead and leave a comment, like I keep saying. I don't mind. I actually like your feedback. I really do. So, um, we're going to go ahead and pick the rest of these happy lamps. Now, happy lamps actually sell for a good amount of money compared to other flowers. I think they're the flowers that sell the most in the entire game. There might be other ones that tied, but I don't think there's any flower in the game that sells for more than this. I'm not too sure on that, though. I'm not sure. But, yeah, um... Nope, oh, hungry again. Gotta eat. I'm gonna go ahead and eat royal ferns, just because I want to give all... Well, I mean, I have plenty of mugwurst, too, but whatever. I'm just gonna... Who cares? Okay, I'm gonna eat that. There we go. Um... Uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go back to my farm. For a very good reason. Hurry up! Walk faster! I need some faster mobility! I want my damn thing that makes me walk faster in this game. Like, seriously, I do. Okay, I'm going to um, enter my house and then come back out because this might trigger another scene. So let's go ahead and see if that's true. Um, no, it didn't. Oh my god. I wasted more time! Can you believe that? Oh my god. Um, let's see, I already did that. Man, what a boring day today. I'm just... I pull a fail. I'm just walking around like an idiot everywhere, not knowing what to do. Oh my god. 
do, I want to give you presents, yet you're still not my friend because you're so greedy with milk. Uh, I'm gonna go in here. Okay, there's Nami. I want to give Nami some presents because I need to catch her up on the heart thing. I'm gonna go ahead and give you this. And again, the best way to boost her uh, affection is to, of course, give her two items per day. Give her one fossil, give her one crop, and I think you can give her... Well, in fall, you'll see that, that there's an, ex an exception to flowers because there is... Only one flower. Where the hell am I? Oh my god. There's only one flower in the entire game that she actually accepts. And that flower grows in fall. So, you know, we are still kind of a ways from there. But we're getting there. We really are. So that's good. Oh, uh, you. I'm going over time again, by the way. I'm going to see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.